So let me show you how I turn my Flipper Zero into our wireless exploit terminal, all without touching even a PC. So what we're going to do, we're going to do carry on with the sequels of Flipper Zero. As you can see, I have flashed Unleashed onto this. You can use your iPhone or Android, download the app, and you can flash it quite easily. If you want to learn how to do it, like and comment down below, and I'll show you guys how to do it. Really simple. It will be a really short video. But on also, side, like in the last video, I did mention that we'll be ordering something dedicated to a Flipper Zero, which is 4-in-1, basically A10 board V1.4. There should be a name somewhere here. So this is what it looks like, right? It already has pins inside. It is literally made by Flipper Zero. And it's already flushed with Madeira, that name, uh, already on here. But a basic kit, so I do not have unlocked Bluetooth on it. But I was like, how else, you know, we tried other things and it didn't work. So, <coughs> a little rundown of what we'll be doing in this video. Uh, to control the Flipper Zero, I use a UATR, a serial interface that lets them talk directly through GPIO, which are these things here, right? Your pins. You're going to have to have female. These are male pins, but you're going to have to have female pins for what we're about to do. The TX from the Flipper Zero goes to the RX onto the board, RX to the TX, and ground to ground, keep it tight, loose, uh, looses, jippers, silence, serials. So, what I'm going to show you guys, it's quite fun. So, how are we going to do this? And I'm going to guide you exactly how I do it as well. <coughs> so, as you can see on your board here, if you have this board, right? It might, might vary depending if you have a different board than me. It's already, you have your RX and you have your TX, right? You want to flip it to TX, right? Then you have your pins numbered. Make sure when you're connecting them that the R TX and RX, your pins are 13 and 14, right? Your ground is 8, your ground is 18. It might vary depending what you have and what are you trying to do and depending on your board. So after you connect it, Right, this is how it would look like. You can add an antenna. Uh, I think I should have an antenna. Make it look more fun. Right, I'm not going to add all three because this one is for Wi Fi, this one's for LF, and this is for RF. So you only need the Wi Fi antenna. With the kit I do have, I commented in one of the previous videos where and how much I paid for this one. You have your standard two ones, and then you have your I call them the aerial because you can really, really extend. I've played around with this. I literally, this has like a very, very high range. Very useful tip, this is. We're going to use a standard one. We don't need nothing fancy today. If it screws in, it'll be nice. All right, let's all screw it in and I'll set this out. Looks like, looks quite neat, right? So what you want to do next is to turn on your flipper, right? Flipper, it is on right now. So what we're we gonna do? Uh, we're gonna do press this side button, right? We're gonna go to your GPIO. After you go into your GPIO, as you can see, we're gonna go to do, 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 GPIO. You have your US slash UATR bridge, right? Yes, you can use this, but if you're using it because this has a Type C. This has a type C. If you connect it, you can use it, but we're not going to use that today. We're going to go straight to, if you have unleashed, it'll be near the bottom. Uh, if you do not have unleashed, I don't know how well this will work. Um, you go to your URTR, right? Terminal. Press the middle button, and then you're going to go to setup. After you're on setup, this already should read your pins, which are 13 and 14. If on your flippers you're in a different position, which I doubt it, but sometimes it does happen, just press this side button and we'll change it to 15 and 16, right? Those are the only two positions which are gonna be a little bit more different. But our ones are 13 and 14, as you can see here on the dev board, you have numbers, and the behind here, you can see where they're connected. 
Uh, band rate, it's 11.52.00. That's R1 for this one, right? Hex mode off. Now nah, we're going to leave it as it is. Right, so open port. Oh no, nothing happened, right? We want to get inside here. So what we can do with my board, which I have, you have your RT, which is your reset, and your boot button when you want to flash new frame rate on there and I have a SD card slot, but I don't have it. So instead of placing boot, you're just going to press the RT. And you can see, right? Don't get scared of, you know, it's still going, flashing. Scroll up. And then you can see ESP, that name, I can't even pronounce it. This is not the newest flash. There's a newer flash, which is 1.5.5, which will be flashing very soon. But just call me Coco, right? So we know it works. You're going to see some things are, oh, it failed to do this or failed to do that because we do not have an SD card. Some stuff is not loading. So it's still good. Don't worry too much about it. And then go to your command prompts, right? I'll show you where they are. So after you did your poll and everything and checked everything, you're going to send a command. Uh, just to see what tools we have available to us, we can press help. You literally type in help. And after you type help, you press save and buff. See, you have different ones. You had load, you have SSID. You have so many different things, which this Madeira flash on here is on there. You have rick and roll, you know, all your basic stuff. War drive, stop scan, Wi-Fi scan, sniff def, sniff SP. Sniff Probe, Sniff Beacon, AW, STA, AP, Scan All, Pocket Count. You know, you have all your stuff here, which is quite neat, quite cool. But sometimes you can just want to just do a normal one. And it's quite powerful, this board, because it's 4 and one I have seen 5 and one but I don't know if I can trust it. This is literally made, as you can see, for a Flipper Zero. So it's quite powerful, as you can see, all the hardware which is on there. They don't make cases on it, but we might make a video how we make our own custom DIY case, which will, I think be quite cool. And with this board, you have your Wi-Fi, which is green. Then when you switch this to red, it goes to, you can only use the RFs. And if you go switch all the way three clicks to there, my right, uh, you're going to have your LF, right? So there's three different modes you have. You have your TXs, RXs, really cool, bold. And Wi-Fi scan, you literally just do this. You can literally do, uh, let's say, view log. We don't have a log. Scan APs, uh, scan station. Let's say scan APs. Give it a couple minutes. Adjust the antenna, obviously. And look at it go. It's literally scanning so many. It's unbelievable. Like, for example... If you had a specific target, yeah. If you had a specific target, you gotta go to down and press on list APs, and then you have different APs to choose from from different Wi-Fi's internet, right? Whichever is scanned and found. If you want to target one, as you can see, there is like for example um, channels, right? You have channel eleven or. Eight, like this was scan eight and it found it. So let's say if you wanted to do eight, let's say we're not going to do it, but <clears throat> we're going to see how it works. If you go to select, right, AP, you have different ones. You have AP, you have SSID, you have station. This is only script on here, just to let you guys know. This is not just flipper. We're going to select APs. So if you want to select this, basically select the number you want. So let's say we want eight, right? We're going to save it. And as you can see, it says here one selected. And after you selected it, you can do anything. You can do attack on here, death attack, probe, rickroll, uh, sour apple. You know, these are your different Bluetooth things, but the Bluetooths are not activated on the board, so they're not going to work. So we're going to do, you have your Wi-Fi tags, right? So after you list, you have selected, but if you want to unselect your target, you literally just press the same thing. You do eight and then save. And it will literally say one unselected, which means that target is not selected anymore. 
but I'm going to end here for today's video. I'm going to give you guys a little summary. I'll write it down so um, I don't get too much off track. And I'm going to show you another cool trick. But I ordered something today as well. So I'm just going to write, write some things down if I missed something. So TX from Death Rupa Zero goes to RX and board RX2. TX and ground. So we kept that. So flipper menu. On the flipper, head to the GPIO USB UTR bridge set. Uh, set your pins to 13 and 14 which are going to be TTXs and RXs and the band rate to 115200 which I already showed you guys we didn't use the U U USB one because we already have the pins and it connected if you don't you can use your USBs and it'll connect perfectly fine right so once connected you'll start seeing outputs from the board like boot logs or Mandera commands like prompt like we did earlier we saw the boots it was amazing if nothing shows up, hit the reset button. Nothing showed up on R1, guess what we did? We hit the RT button, which is on our dev board. Did it happen? Something happened? It did, and it launched. And boom, CTO is up, and now it's ready. Flipper becomes the terminal, right? Which is so cool, because literally you're using this. You're literally on your board, but inside your Flipper Zero. So technically you have a terminal and a Flipper Zero at the same time. Really amazing. Powerful tool. So... From here, you can launch attacks, recon, type hell to see all commands, which we did. Then try Wi-Fi scans, BT scans, or even beacon spams. No extra scripts, no laptop, just raw power controlled through the pocket, which is quite cool. And for this this whole setup, let's say it maybe sent me back over 200 quid. But I'll link everything down below. But I do have an alternative for you guys if you do not have that much money. We have M5 sticks. I will be doing a comparison video about Flipper Zero and the M5 sticks. That's going to be a separate one. But what I just want to tell you about this, this is running Modera, which has Bluetooth on it, and the Bluetooth sniffer works on here. The Flipper does, but it's not unlocked, right? Size comparisons, quite a big size, right? What this board can do, if you order female both ends have to be female clips. And at the back here, you have your breakdown, right? If you connect them same way as it's connected to the Flipper Zero for this, for the TX, you can run the Modera script, which is on here and has unlocked more potential than the Flipper currently. And you can have this plugged in here, right? Working better than this board. If you wanna see that happen, let us know. We'll order the female clips and we'll make it happen. And in the next video, I'm going to end it here, I'll be doing a comparison between this new M5 stick plus two and the old M5 stick and the Flipper Zero and give you my honest rundown, which I prefer best. I'll see you guys in the next one.